Did you know that two thirds of Americans are eligible for retirement plans, but they don't bother taking them? This is a big miss for anyone planning to have a future, especially for those of you currently working a nine to five situation. But this may change as the House of Representatives passed the new Secure Act 2.0. And I'm here to discuss how that bill would affect your 401k. I'm Munif Ali and I was a self-made multimillionaire by the time I was in my mid-twenties. I started a channel for the sole purpose of sharing my life experiences to teach you how to be more successful in business and in life. So if you like the type of content I'm giving you, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button now. A few weeks ago from the time of recording this video, the new Secure Act 2.0 has passed from the House of Representatives with a vote of 414 to 5. It's an act that may be a law soon, but we're still waiting for the Senate's approval. So the new Secure 2.0 aims to help businesses and employees with retirement plans by focusing on three goals. Help people save more money, improve retirement laws, and lower the cost of retirement plans for employers. And one of the heavily affected retirement plans would be the 401k. One of the changes to this is the mandatory enrollment. You shall. Data from Natasix Global Retirement Index shows that 59% of Americans accept the fact that they might keep working longer than most while 36% believe that they don't have enough money for retirement. It always has been an issue for workers to contribute to their retirement plans. Because they need to pay for necessities, some would have to pay the ever-increasing student loans. But the SECURE Act 2.0 employers will be required to enroll their eligible employees in a 401k plan. Now you might say, but Munif, won't that be detrimental to us if we still can't afford 401ks? They've thought of that already. That's why in this act, the employer will make contributions for you while you pay your student loan. This will not only ease you from paying your debts, but you'll also not miss out on saving money. One study from Aerial Investments on 401k found that employees under the auto enrollment have increased their participation for those who are young and low paid. The racial gap is also significantly reduced when subject to auto enrollment. Now, once employers are required to enroll their eligible employees under the 401k, those eligible employees will start with a 3% pre-tax deduction from their annual salary. And that 3% will annually increase by 1% a year until it reaches 10%. You have plenty of time to start saving and increase that payment. But why does it increase every year? It's because inflation keeps rising. And we all know that inflation is going crazy. The Bureau of Labor Statistics actually shows an eight and a half percent increase on inflation. We haven't seen those kind of numbers since 1981. Lawmakers formulated the increased base on rising prices so that not only will you have enough money for retirement, but enough money to save as well. But what if you quit your job and you're afraid that you might lose your 401k? Well, the government is planning to make the lost 401k database to keep track of 401ks for employees who have left their employment. That would be greatly beneficial. Because if you're like me, I have a hard time just keeping up with where my keys are. Another thing is the act talks about how it may also adjust your annual contributions to your 401k depending on your age. First, Secure Act has a catch-up method where 50-year-olds will contribute $6,500 to help them catch up as that will leave them with a small window of opportunity to save money. I'm turning 50 pretty soon. Hmm. So in other words, people as old as me because I'm turning 50 in a few months. Now in the Secure Act 2.0, there's now an option for 62 to 64 year olds to contribute $10,000 annually until they're 64 to help them catch up even more. Again, the idea of the act is not only to help people save up money, but also to help them prepare for inflation. Older people tend to earn more rather than spend their money. And that brings them more savings to enjoy and a better life, quite frankly. The act will also take minimum distributions from anyone 70 years or older because the fact of the matter is that they may not have so much time in retirement left. So the government wants to take their taxes, of course. But the Secure Act 2.0 will increase the age for minimum distributions from 70 and a half years old. The minimum distribution will now change to 72 years old in 2022 and 73 by 2023, 74 by 2030, and 75 by 2033. The reason why there seems to be a gap in the changes of years is still based on rising inflation and the fact that people are living a lot longer now. And before I tell you the last one, if you like the content that I just gave you, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button. Let me and the YouTube algorithm know that this video is valuable to you. 
I'll bring you more content every week, so make sure you turn on that notification bell as well. According to Chief Legal and Regulatory Affairs Head Jason Berkowitz, the point is to help participants determine if they're on track to meet their retirement goals. Let's face it, no one knows how long Social Security will be around, so definitely start looking at the 401k program. I would say that all in all, this is a good way to improve your retirement plans, as the studies have shown helping and encouraging workers to participate in retirement plans provides everyone with a better future. But of course, we still have to wait to see what the changes might be on the Senate side. What do you think of these changes? Please go ahead and comment down below if you see any problems with the SECURE Act 2.0. Remember, no one knows if Social Security will be around or how long or what it's going to look like. Start investing in your future now. What you won't have problems with is liking this video and subscribing to this video. Also, the bell notification will inform you as soon as I upload a new video, and I'm doing that three or more times a week sometimes, informing you about the latest trends about your financial dollar. And if you'd like to know more about making money, check out this video, Buy or Wait. Should I invest in real estate right now? Because everything is changing and evolving. So see the next video now.